view as well today. I'm going to pull apart this um, LCD monitor I found the other night. Um, it was chucked in one of the garbage pits. Um, does physically looks good, but you know why would you chuck it out if there was nothing wrong with it? But that answers. Um, been wrong a long time. Oh, a lot of times because half the stuff I find's got nothing wrong with it. So I'll just take the back off it. I haven't got a power supply. I need one that's um, 12 volts at 3.5 amps. I've got one somewhere, but I, for the life of me, can't find it. But I'll just um, take it apart and give it a good going over before applying power to it sometime. Okay, so that's all the screws I can find removed. So I have an attempt at prising this cover open. Expecting to see maybe some bad caps. Uh, a lot of these Chinese monitors seem to have that very similar problem. Um, so yeah, just give me a second, I'll try and get this back cover off. Well, in this case, the front cover comes off, so will the panel come out safely? Probably fucking not. But this, oh, I've taken a couple of, of these apart before, but they're all different, so I'll just gently work on it and see what I can't find. Here with the casing removed, that's what we're left with. Um, all the electronics are under this cover here, so I'll whip out these screws. I've fucking pulled out that many screws now, it's not funny. And I'll be able to see some electronics. Well, I've taken a few of these apart before. And the caps are usually swollen and bulged like bitches, but these ones actually look alright, so. Um, I'm guessing if there's something wrong with it, maybe it'll be the inverter circuit, you know, the backlights won't work. Or it could work perfectly fine. So one day when I find the power supply to it, I'll give it a go. But for now, I'll just put it all back together and put it off to one side. We're going to have a quick break from that to talk about my next door neighbour's fucking air conditioner. Now, that can't. This has been like that for the last two years. It is noisy as a motherfucker. Bearings are absolutely rooted. And the tight ass old doll bludgeon fucking scrag will not get it fucking fixed. Now, they're not that dear. A cheap one is about three and a half thousand. Or the silent version which I got is four and a half thousand. And you get all new ducting, all new vents, everything with it. But she had the money to have that big ass solar roof heating put on. So I go pick it leaks that much water. The grass is growing out of the gutters. Friggin' stuff like that just shits me. Or like getting it fixed would be maybe 50 bucks worth of bearings and a belt. A bit of silicon to seal up the holes in the basket. Okay, so if you're still watching this after my little rant and rave and haven't had a heart attack. Um, I've got this back together now, um, quite simple, usually I break something since they're fairly thin plastic, but no, I did quite good this time, it was just a matter of working out where the 20 odd screws went, um, seems the newer the equipment gets, the more bloody screws hold it together lot. I had a 68 centimetre Philips TV from the late 70s, it had four clips that you just pop with a screwdriver and the whole back come off it, why can't they make things like that now, get my plasma inside open, I had to remove the stand, then there was a good, probably 20 screws holding the back on still, then each module's held in by at least 4 or 5 screws, and then, yeah, it's getting harder and harder to work on things, but easier and easier to fix some of them, because you don't do component level repairs anymore, unless it's obvious like caps or something, you can just replace the whole module fairly cheaply. Alright, so... Now, I'm going to calm down a little bit, I'm going to have a beer, my beer fridge, I still haven't put a defrost element in, I know it's been working fine for a couple of months now, it hasn't even frozen up yet. Um, then I'll take you inside and I'll show off my Xbox, because I don't believe I've ever done a video on that before. One more quick thing before I go inside, if, if you're, you guys are probably sick mate bitching and whinging in this video by now, I'm going to make that noise and fucking raise it tomorrow afternoon. I'm gonna blow up a couple of engines. That'll be fun. Even my dogs come to suck up to me to try and get the noise to stop. 
and the cat's just been a fucking idiot. But that's nothing new for that cat. I found that cat out of the tip one time, and I felt sorry for it because it was starved within an inch of its life. Brought it home, fed it, left it outside, and it's never run away, never even really left the yard. But it's the funniest, or friendliest and funniest little animal you'll ever meet. Here's a quick um, video on um, my gaming setup. It's a bit messy in here, but I haven't actually done this room up yet, obviously. It's still as it was built back in the 60s. Um, it has had new carpet put in at some stage because the original carpet was dark green. So, I've got a louver, which is German made, 32 inch widescreen TV. Um, sold back in 2002, I got the original purchase receipt when I found it for over $10,000. Um, very bloody good quality CRT TV. With my Xbox 360 Elite console, um, I actually paid good money for that. I parted with about $330 for it. It came with a whole heap of games and it only been used half a dozen times. It's still got like, the plastic over the IR sensor, still had the plastic over the drive cover, so that came off. And I've got a couple of controllers because I had a plain white Xbox 360 that shit itself with the red ring of death. But all in all, it keeps me entertained. It costs about $79 a year or something for the membership for Xbox Live. Um, tend to play Grim Theft Auto 4 a lot, even though it's an old game, I still enjoy it. Alright, thanks for watching. And I can still hear that friggin' air conditioner inside as well.